Key question five asks what psychological therapies are effective in the treatment of adults with anorexia nervosa? Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, is an established therapy to which the other therapies are usually compared. The weight of evidence is in favor of CBT. A review concluded that CBT leads to improvements in BMI and ED symptoms using standardized measures. However, it didn't demonstrate superiority over other therapies. Goldsworthy Francis in 2014 showed also that there's a huge variability in the format, content and administration of CBT. A systematic review of CBT versus newer third wave therapies concluded that due to the lack of evidence for the new therapies, CBT should be considered the first line treatment um, of therapy for patients with anorexia. That's Lynn Arden in 2017. A full systematic review looking at 10 RCTs and 10 uncontrolled studies found CBTE to be effective for the full spectrum of eating disorders. Patients with all types of eating disorders responded well to CBTE, including those with anorexia, with respect to improved BMI, reduced eating disorder behaviours and improved core psychopathology. Uh, an RCT then looked at treatment for anorexia, comparing CBTE with the SSCM, Specialist Supportive Clinical Management, and the Maudsley Model. Uh, CBTE was found superior in helping patients achieve a healthy weight at 12-month follow-up. But all three therapies were considered to be valuable treatments for the anorexia. That's Byrne, 2017. Looking then at IPT and an SSCM, the RCT comparing the three of those that I just mentioned showed that the SSCM had the most immediate effect and IPT had the greater effect at longer term follow up. But there were issues with the quality of this study. Looking then at two further RCTs, which compared Mantra with the SSCM, and these were conducted at the centre where Mantra was developed. The proportion of people achieving a normal BMI and normal EDE score was 14% in the Mantra arm and 19% in the SSCM group, and that's Schmidt in 2012. Um, this study then went on to do a second RCT, and both treatments continued to result in significant improvements in BMI and reductions in ED symptomatology, distress and overall clinical improvement. A further study between these two therapies at 24 months showed a full recovery rate for those who, who received mantra was 15% and those who received SSDM was 28%. Looking then at family therapy, um, there's a big Cochrane review, um, but basically what it said is that most of the research was low quality um, and that the best they could say is that family therapies may be effective as treatment as usual in the treatment in, in the short term for anorexia. Looking then at focal psychodynamic therapy, the ANTOP study compared this with CBTE and treatment as usual, um, but there were no significant differences between the groups. There are a number of other therapies available for people with anorexia that merit further research and investigation, and some of these can be delivered as standalone therapies, but others are more commonly used as adjunctive parallel interventions. That would include compassion-focused therapy, which has had um, an encouraging results, cognitive remediation therapy, which has been developed as an adjunct to target set shifting and central coherence for anorexia, and DBT, where there's some research um, supporting its use um, when there's the eating disorder combined with substance misuse, mood regulation and depressive symptoms, and personality disorder. So to then conclude with the recommendations, CBTE or other forms of cognitive behavioural therapy should be viewed as first-line therapy for adults with anorexia nervosa.
if CBT is ineffective, fun suitable or unacceptable for people with anorexia, other therapeutic approaches could be considered such as IPT, mantra, SSCM or focal psychodynamic therapy. CBT is a transdiagnostic treatment regime showing greater validity for people with eating disorders with comorbidities such as substance misuse disorder and borderline personality disorder. Therefore, this approach should be considered instead of CBT for this complex group. There are many small open studies and pilots of really promising therapies such as CAT, schema therapy, mentalization based therapy, radically open DBT, which don't yet meet criteria for inclusion according to SIGN. Yet these therapies could be considered for patients with anorexia as part of a clinical trial. Thank you.